Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a class called hip yoga. What we'll do today is hip openers sprinkled in a twisty vinyasa, sprinkled with Kapalabhati breath and other breathing. So it's gonna be all of our favorite things in one class. Let's flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down, lift the hands over the head and really lengthen here, extending the tailbone just slightly down without over tucking so that we can connect with the core and feel the core draw in, firm the abdominal wall. We're not sucking the belly in, we're firming the abdominal wall, lifting the belly button up. Feeling the TVA, the deep abdominal muscles. And here we're going to draw the belly in, round the back and reach ahead of us and pull the belly in, pull, pull, pull. Good, exhale, release, open and move a few times here, just accessing different angles and different sides of your abdominal muscles so that we can activate them properly by first even connecting mentally with them so moving side to side and just just really squeezing in here finding little muscles that we weren't aware of once it becomes part of our awareness then we can always connect to it, it's discovered. All right, inhale, reaching over the head. Exhale, diving forward, straight back, halfway down. Length under the crown of the head. Let's bring the chest parallel to the floor. Pull the belly in, bend the knees and let your head hang. Look over to the left and right. Spread the fingers wide on the floor. Step it back, plank. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. Drawing the navel in again. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, come up high lunge, twist to the right, bring the right hand down the left leg, lift, Exhale the left hand down, roll onto the outer edges of the feet, flex the feet, open here, sit in the right hip, press the hip back. Reach over the head and press the right hip back, feel it, great, let's bring both hands on the inside of the right foot and glide or walk the left foot back for a little warm up hip opener here. Great, step it back. Plank to Chaturanga to up dog. To Chaturanga to down dog. <clears throat> Inhale the left leg up, step it through, high lunge. Open your arms out, twist, lift. Exhale. 
exhale the right hand down flex the feet open here sitting back pressing back the left hip just a gentle exploration of your own flexibility there and going into the sticky stuck part sticky stuck and reach over the head exhale both hands down glide your or walk your right foot back feel that opening here exhale back plank to chaturanga to up dog to chaturanga to plank pull the belly in and here we're going to take the right foot towards the left ankle or towards yeah, towards the left uh, sorry wrist so right foot left wrist bringing that right knee towards the right elbow and that's a little bit of a hip opener plus of course a lot of core let's go one two three four five six seven squeeze the belly eight nine ten press it back down dog take the right leg up step it through high lunge exhale the left hand down twist reach over the head exhale both hands down step it back plank and let's take the left foot towards the right wrist one lowering that knee down so that there is the hip opener plus the core two squeeze three four five six seven eight nine ten press it back down dog let's step the left foot through and twist step both feet at the front yogic squat hands on the floor plank chaturanga up dog and chaturanga down dog drawing the navel in inhale the right leg up step it through high lunge let's bring the left ankle over the right knee sit back relax the left hip and back to high lunge one more time really relax into the move step it back three relax into the move step it back <clears throat> hands in prayer twist lengthen inhale coming out and here we're going to bring the hands in front of us and do a few couple of bathy breaths the head arch exhale both hands on the inside of the right foot and now just ever so slightly deepen that stretch 
Good. Step back plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through. High lunge. Let's bring the ankle over, relax the muscles. Step it back, high lunge. Step in and back. One more. And back. Bring your hands forward. And let's bring the hands in prayer twist. Releasing the hands on the inside of the foot. And step it back, plank, chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, high lunge. Let's bring the ankle over the knee, another hip opener. Open the arms out, twist, and bring your form into the foot. Open the right arm up and try to keep the balance. Back to center. <laughs> Step it back, high lunge. Lower the knee down, arch. Let's bring the forearms down and walk the knee back. Deepening the hip opening here, gentle. Gently deepening with each pose. Great, step it back. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through. High lunge. And let's bring the knee over. Sit back, feel it. Open the arms. Bring the forearm into the foot. Open the left arm up. And here the balancing part starts when we try to look up. So give it a go. See how that goes. It's quite challenging. And back to center. Step it back. Lower the knee down, arch. Another stretch here for the hip flexors. All right, let's bring the forearms down. And walk the back knee away. Feel that hip opening action here. And step it back. Plank. Take the right foot on the outside of the right hand. Left foot on the outside, sit back. This requires quite a bit of hip openness as well. And let's step it back. 
and let's take the left foot and the right sit step it back hold walk your hands to the back exhale forward fold inhale coming up sweeping the hands over the head exhale over the heart take the right foot in half lotus or you can bring the foot a little lower down wherever you can place it and begin to lower down straight back and walk to the front walk to the front and take a side plank hold it to plank to side plank on the right hand so each side to plank and walk it back forward fold and straight back coming up release opposite side forward fold walk to the front starting with the side plank on one side right for me to plank to left side side plank to plank walk it back forward fold and straight back come up step it down inhale arch exhale forward fold walk to the front down dog inhale the right leg up step it through high lunge hands in prayer twist coming out of the twist take your left ankle over the right knee and twist again elbow into the hand and bring your right elbow on the inside of that foot grabbing the foot come up to standing holding that cradling your leg step it back high lunge here we're gonna do one sweeping motion and take revolving half moon left hand on the floor left leg up right arm up and step it back in revolving triangle alignment take your hand left hand back revolving triangle exhale forward fold plank chaturanga up dog and down dog take the left leg up step it through high lunge hands in prayer twist inhale coming up step it through bring the ankle over hands in prayer twist and coming out grab your foot and come up and step it back one movement to revolving half moon try one move 
I'm having <laughs> such a challenging time with the view of the wall that adds to my focus. I have to really focus on the balance. <laughs> it's one of those op optical challenges. Nothing changes in my challenge in my balancing world, but just seeing the wall. So that's a metaphor for life. Sometimes we're just challenged and nothing really is affecting us. All right, triangle, revolving triangle. Exhale, forward fold. And plank. To Chaturanga, to up dock, to Chaturanga, to down dock. E on the right leg up, step it through, warrior two. To side angle, you can wrap under. You can step it in and come up with your wrap and straighten and look away. And revert back to clasping side angle. And coming back up in warrior two. Take a plie to a few couple of hip breaths. <laughs> Inhale, reach over the head, side to side bends. <sighs> Lifting the toes. And exhale down. Plank to Chaturanga to up dock to down dock. Inhale the left leg up, step it through warrior two. Side angle, you can clasp. You can step it in, come up. Straighten and reverse the movement. Back to warrior two, to plie. A few more kapalabhati breaths or just one round. Here, side to side stretch. So move smoothly. Try not to jerk. Move side to side. Feel the strength of your legs and hips. And place your hands at the front. Yogic squat at the front.
and plank. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. Hmm. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through, warrior one. Warrior three, hands in prayer or hands out. Level the hips when you can. And let's bring the left hand on the floor. See if you can grab your ankle with the right hand and lift here. And back to warrior three. And coming up to standing, let's bring this left ankle over the right knee. Take your elbow in, twist. Stay here or take this arm balance. And back. To prayer. Coming back to the center. Sit back, step it down, chair, and lower, 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 lower down, and come back up. Walk your feet a little wider than hip width, and lower, 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 and come back up. Inhale, arch, exhale, folding, inhale, look ahead of your plank. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Inhale the left leg up, step it through warrior one. Warrior three. Level the hips. Let's bring the right hand down, left hand to right ankle, open. And slowly come up to standing. Bringing the ankle over, the ankle over the knee, sit back, twist, and lower down, and take an arm balance. Sit back, squat down, come up in half squat or size parallel to the floor, hold, push the booty back, take a step out in plie, one more couple of body. over the thighs, twist here. Step it back to chair at the front, hands in prayer, twist. Center, twist. Exhale, forward fold, plank, chaturanga, up dog, 
down dog inhale the right leg up step it through high lunge warrior three bring your ankle again over the right knee flex lower down bring the shin bone onto your tricep chaturanga up dog down dog take the left leg up step it through high lunge to warrior three two a hip opener here sit back lower down wiggle wiggle so the triceps are involved and step it back plank chaturanga plank down dog take the right leg up open the hip wild thing two pigeon lifting the rib cage lengthen twist you can bring the right hand bang back on the left thigh look back you can twist here and relax and inhale open the chest take it back and let's take the left leg up well thin lift the hips coming out pigeon flex the foot open the chest you can twist here taking the left hand back and around on the right thigh you can lower down in a twist which feels quite juicy right now <laughs> through my entire back and hold for a moment level the hips feel your hips here the position of your hips yes we're stretching the left one but feel also the right one we're stretching the right hip flexor sometimes here and also we want to be aware of its position okay coming out arch open the chest down dog sit down lower down plow slowly roll out and twist supine twist opposite side
rock up to see it and let's do a twist on each side here one knee up reach twist maybe clasp under knees on top of each other stacking lower down let's change positions walk around let's start with the knees on top of each other opposite side lower down and twist great finishing touches extend the right leg down either keep your ankle above the knee or foot in um, half lotus whichever one lower down here one more way to stretch the hips inhale coming up opposite side i'm keeping this class at a certain level length so so that it can be a full vinyasa that you many of you can fit within your time frame for yoga and then and still touch upon many serious yoga poses when you don't have time for a really long vinyasa inhale coming up soles of the feet together and open here And from here, feel free to lay back down or just sit for a few moments. So you can sit in a cross-legged position or lay down if you prefer to lay down at the end. And take a few moments to yourself. Enjoy the present moment and that post vinyasa relaxed feeling. And Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, I'm so grateful that we're practicing together. I'm very grateful for each and everyone that's tuning in. And I'll see you with our next class. Namaste. Remember to flow with strength and ease. What?